So it is Ubi Tepo here. I am super excited to take some time out and just share the word that the Lord has given me today. Um, I pray that this blesses you. I pray that it heals you and that it encourages you as well. Amen. So before we get into the word, I am just going to pray for us and then we'll get straight into it. So in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I want to thank you so, so much for this word. Thank you, Father God, that this word is here, Lord, to open our eyes to exactly what you are doing in this season. Open our eyes to the shift, Father God, the sweetness in the mighty name of Jesus and even the grace that you are about to bestow over your children in this hour. Something that you are already doing, Lord. I thank you that it's not something that we need to wait on, but instead, Father God, it is something that you have already set in motion we are so grateful. We are so grateful. And we say yes, Lord. We say yes to the blessings. We say yes to the manifestation. And we say yes to your faithfulness, Lord. We can be confident that you are faithful and you will do exactly what you said you will do in the mighty name of Jesus. Prepare our hearts for this word, Lord. Amen and amen and amen. So let's just get into it, guys. This is an amazing word, an amazing word. So you know how I like to do it. I like to read off the notes that I have worked on. So um, if you can take a notebook, um, write out whatever um, resonates with you as we go through this. And um, please even share what the Lord has placed in your heart in the comments, any confirmations, um, any dreams, whatever it may be, just so that we can encourage one another. Right. So. The Lord is causing us in the name of Jesus. The Lord is causing us to break beyond the circumstances that have been keeping us stuck and unfruitful. Hallelujah. There is a breaking through, a breaking through glass, in fact, and a breaking of glass ceilings that is taking place in the lives of so many. We actually spoke about this very briefly in a previous word, how the Lord is bursting us through. We are breaking glass ceilings. Not only um, are we seeing um, things being birthed through us, but we are even seeing the birthing of us, if that makes sense. The newness within us, the new identity, the new positioning, the new status, the new name. We are seeing it not only in, in what we are taking out, but also what is is what we are shifting into, right? So there's a breaking through glass and a breaking of ceilings, of glass ceilings that is taking place in the lives of so many. You will soon see yourself quickly being rushed out and into the hands of God. Amen. In fact, you will see yourself quickly being rushed out um, by the hand of God. There is a breaking and a bursting that is catapulting his children into the great beyond. Hallelujah. This, this word, in fact, is a confirmation of what we've been speaking about in these past um, few months, right? This shifting that is taking place, this shifting into um, even experiencing the Lord in a totally different way, experiencing his sweetness and his gratifying nature in a completely different way. So the Lord says that he is breaking and bursting you. He's catapulting you into the great beyond. Hallelujah. Amen. Roads that were meant for your demise are quickly being turned around for your good. They will now be part of your testimony, a sign that the Lord has brought you through. A sign that the Lord has always been with you. A sign that the Lord will use exactly what the enemy intended for your evil. The Lord will turn it around for your good. This will be your testimony. So as the Lord breaks you out in the mighty name of Jesus, you'll be able to look back and say, oh, so that wasn't just the enemy trying to get at me. That was actually the Lord allowing certain things to happen just so that I may have a testimony of how good and gracious he is. Hallelujah. This bursting out will be a sign that it is the Lord that has brought you through. There is no more delay, no more delay, no more hindrance, simply just breaking through. No more delay, no more hindrance. In fact, 
a word the Lord gave me last month, and he reminded me of this word um, yesterday. The Lord said to me, you've waited long enough. You've waited long enough. And I remember sharing this with a few friends and even my mother, that the Lord was saying to me, you have waited long enough. Hallelujah. So the Lord is saying, you have waited long enough. No more delay, no more hindrance. And guys, I, I can't even begin to explain how real and tangible this word has been for me. Um, just like we spoke about for the May prophetic word, how the Lord is allowing us to give him the new promises that he has spoken over our lives. And he's also bringing back the old promises that we've been waiting on for years. And he's asking us now to tend to those older promises that we actually thought wouldn't come about. I am seeing those older promises being manifested in my life. Amen. So I'm a, a testimony and soon I will come and share the testimony of how the Lord is, is, is so gracious and so good um, and how truly we have waited long enough. Right. So the Lord is saying no more delay, no more hindrance, simply just breaking through. There will be a, tra a traversing. There will be a traversing from one stage. So a traversing is a transition or a crossing over. Right. So there will be a crossing over from one stage of life to the other hallelujah there will be a transition and a crossing into the new in fact what the lord said to me yesterday is that i am breaking you no what did he say he said you are stepping into the new because i have broken you through hallelujah so please receive that i actually shared that on instagram yesterday the lord is saying you are stepping into the new because i have broken you through so the scripture that the lord gave me for this is micah 2 verse 13 and this is in the amplified version it says the breaker the messiah who opens the way shall go up before them liberating them they will break out pass through the gate and go out so their king goes on before them, the Lord at their head. Hallelujah. The breaker, the Messiah, the Lord is the breaker, right? The Messiah is the breaker. He is the one who opens the way. He shall go before us and he will liberate us in the mighty name of Jesus. Just like those doors swung open, that gate, that iron gate swung open on its own accord in the name of Jesus hallelujah the lord will go before us and liberate us they will break out pass through the gate and go out we are going out this breaking through this transitioning and crossing will not only look like the lord leading us out of lack into abundance or the lord leading us from oppression into freedom but it will also look like circumstances in your life um coming about almost out of sheer luck right it's going to look like you are just simply lucky so it's not only going to be the lord saying you know what you've you've lacked in this specific area i will bless you or you know what? you've been oppressed in this specific area let me um deliver you it's not only going to look like that in fact it will also look like circumstances in our lives looking like sheer luck the Lord is saying, get ready for my grace to set you on a lucky streak. Prepare for spontaneous, generous, free, totally unexpected and undeserved gifts of grace. Hallelujah. Let me repeat that so some of us can catch it again. The Lord is saying, get ready for my grace to set you on a lucky streak. Prepare for spontaneous, generous, free, totally unexpected, and undeserved gifts of grace in the name of Jesus. So to those watching, the outsiders, right, it's actually going to look like a lucky streak. It's actually going to look like sheer, utter luck. And the reason why it will look like luck is because it will actually look really coincidental. It will actually look almost like an accident. People will see the things that are beginning to spring up in your life and wonder, how did she go from zero to hero? How did he go from nothing to everything, right? How are things suddenly happening for this person? How are things suddenly coming about and aligning? People will actually look at you and be like, man, that person is so lucky right? 
but it is the grace of God. It is the grace of God happening suddenly, happening spontaneously in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Little will people know that even in what looks like chance, even in what looks like coincidence, even in what looks like small windows of opportunity that you grab and you seize, it is actually the grace of God that is lavishly bursting through and setting all things into motion for you. Hallelujah. The Lord says, I will be behind it all. So jump into every opportunity I present to you. Stay, dwell and abide in me. I am doing it for you. The Lord also says, I am here. My presence is here. I am Emmanuel. My presence is right here. Stay, dwell and abide in me because I am doing it for you. For some of you, the Lord is saying, I have already started to do it for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This will indeed look like a lucky streak or a sudden series of wins. Amen. It will look like a lucky streak or a sudden series of wins. Amen. I just also want to go into the synonyms of the word lucky, right? Because this is a word that the Lord gave me in my dream, lucky. And I remember when he gave it to me, I thought, Lord, luck? I, I, I don't know. That doesn't really sound, you know, Christian or anything like that. Um, but the synonyms of lucky are fortunate, are blessed, are favored, advantaged, successful, opportune hallelujah the definition of good luck is um, success apparently brought by chance rather than through one's own actions doesn't that kind of sound like grace right it's success apparently brought by chance rather than through one's own actions it's undeserved hallelujah it is spontaneous it is free it is unexpected right? Luck is unexpected. You know, in this, I have, I've had two dreams now where someone um, who's named Lucky is, is, is gifting me with something or blessing me with something. Hallelujah. Um, so that is why the Lord is saying, get ready for a lucky streak. There are things that are about to happen in your life that honestly, when you begin to tell people of what the Lord is doing, it will just sound like, man, you are lucky man you are lucky but it's actually the grace of god coming coming down on you on, in such a profound way um the lord also led me to ecclesiastes 9 verse 11 which reads i again saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong hallelujah and neither is bread to the wise nor riches to those of intelligence and understanding nor favor to men of ability, but time and chance overtake them all. Hallelujah. Time and chance overtake them all. We thank you, Lord, that time and chance overtakes us all, right? Hallelujah. The Lord is saying, it is your time. It is your turn. Back on this idea of the grace of God um, looking like luck in this season that we are in, I actually asked the Lord, um, exactly where we could see instances in the Bible where luck seemed to be evident, right? Or instances in the Bible where his grace actually appeared as luck or actually appeared as something that was coincidental. Um, and the first thing he did was to lead me to Proverbs 16, verse 33, which reads, The lot is cast into the lap, but its every decision is from the Lord. The lot is cast into the lap, but it's every decision is from the Lord. So something that some of us may know, I found this, I found this mind blowing, honestly, guys, because um, the moment I, I read the scripture, I realized that, wait a minute, a lot is something that we consider to be random, right? And even coincidental. Um, and we see it even in the word where people, both believers and non-believers, would cast lots in order to decide any and everything, right? The lots would be cast to decide who will be king. Lots would be cast to decide what portion of land people will receive. Um, lots would even be thrown to decide who gets thrown off boats, right? 
Um, people would even use lots to decide who would join or replace the disciples. So there's this idea in the Bible, right, of a lot being um, something that is rather random, right? Um, in fact, I feel like there is nothing more random than costing a lot. Um, and yet the word says that the lot is cast into the lap. And yet it's every decision, as random as it may seem, as coincidental as it may seem, it's every decision is from the Lord. Hallelujah. So this is why um, we see that every time the lot was cast, it just so happened to land on the right person. And this is exactly the type of grace sitting over us as we receive this word right now. A grace that may look random, yet it is a state or even an end, right? It's a state or an end that has seemingly been decided beforehand. Hallelujah. This grace that is on us in this hour is a state or an end that has seemingly been decided by God beforehand. What is looking random to you right now in this hour has already been decided by the Lord. The lot was cast, but its decision was in the hand of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So I just want to speak this over our lives today. I pray that as the Lord positions you for this gracious lucky streak, may you not be like Saul. Amen. May you not be like Saul who hid away when the lot was being cast. Sure. May you not doubt that it is actually your turn. Do not doubt that he is actually doing what he said he will do. In fact, we seem to doubt even more when the very word the Lord has spoken begins to unfold, right? We remember Saul. Saul was told already by Samuel that, listen, you are the appointed king. And these are the signs that you will see as you go back home. And Saul went on and he saw all those signs. After being anointed with that oil, after attending that feast, he went back home and he saw all those signs. He prophesied and did everything that Samuel said he would do and see, right? But the minute the lot was cast, the minute it was his turn, he hid away. The Lord is saying, may we learn from that. May we not shy away from it because, because for some of us, this lot will present a very small window of opportunity and it is in our boldness and in our faith and in our knowledge of God's character, right? That we will be able to jump through the small window, jump and seize the moment. So when you begin to see exactly what God has said, hallelujah, come to pass, Please don't allow unbelief or fear to hinder you. Don't allow unbelief or fear to hinder you from entering into his rest. In the name of Jesus, have faith. Have faith in his character. Have faith and be confident in the word of the Lord. And I pray that this blesses you guys so much. Thank you. Love you guys. Bye-bye.